Tommy, you're our new goalkeeper. Well, welcome to Darlington. You've played the vast majority of football at Northern Premier League level, so is the prospect of a brand new challenge here at Darlington the reason why you've joined us? Yeah, it's obviously exciting for me. Um, I think I've, I've had a few trials at a few pro clubs and stuff, which obviously didn't work out. Um, I've always felt I was good enough to play this level, and Darlington have given me the opportunity to do it, and I'm looking forward to it. You started your career as a youngster at Leeds and then Sheffield Wednesday? Yeah, that's right. I was at Sheffield Wednesday till I was 16, got released, and then dropped into a non-league game and played non-league football ever since. You went to Brighouse and you developed your skills there as a goalkeeper, but you scored a goal as well, didn't you? Last minute, <laughs> some uh, glass out, and I believe it was. Glass out and just, away. just like just like the Liverpool keeper did last week. That's it. Yeah, it's, uh, we were losing one nil. Uh, I've gone up for a corner in the last minute, scored a header. Obviously, the celebrations probably weren't as big as, <laughs> as it was for Liverpool, but now it's uh, exciting to have met score a goal as well. Yeah. But obviously, you learned to develop your game there at Brickhouse, didn't you? Before you moved on to Farsley. I did. Yeah, um, I actually started at Farsley before I went to Brickhouse. Um, wasn't playing that many games, so I decided I need to drop down the league. Uh, I went and played a full season at Brighouse, and I feel I developed my game massively, and that's helped me to progress further and further up the pyramid again. And while you were at Farsley, you won an award, didn't you? As Young Player of the Year in the First Division. Yeah, I did. I won it for, I think it was the 2013 season. Uh, I think that was the season Darlington was actually in the Northern Premier League Division 1. Um, and yeah, it was a massive achievement for me to win that award. And as well, you mentioned there we were in the, the league at the same time as you. You noticed the following that we had. Yeah, it was massive. I remember we played, it used to be at Bishop Auckland where they played, and I think there was over a thousand fans there on a Tuesday mm. night and it was freezing, so it just showed, showed the size of the club and... Obviously, it was something I'd, I'd look to forward to play for in the future. Yeah. Now, you went back to Brighouse for a season and then on to Scarborough for three years. I did, yeah. I feel I've had the, sorry, the best, best time in my career at Scarborough was obviously playing the best football. Um, and I think that's given me the springboard to obviously push on and, and hopefully prove myself in this league now as well. But you won uh, the league at Scarborough, didn't you? You won promotion from First Division North into the Evo Stick Premier. So you know what it's like to be part of a title winning, a promotion winning side? Definitely, yeah. Obviously Scarborough have a massive fan base as well. So that got me used to playing in front of the big crowds. I think that season they were averaging like 1,500. Um, and yeah, I thrive playing in front of the crowds. I love it. And I wouldn't have signed for Darlington if I didn't think they were going to be pushing for promotion this year. And you were playing with one of our role players there, Kevin Burgess. I did, yeah. I got on really well with Kev. Uh, we won the North Riding Senior Cup together. I think it made his night because it was obviously at Middlesbrough, his hometown club. But yeah, he's a great lad. I actually messaged Kev before I signed here and he said to me, it's the best club you'll ever sign for. So he's helped to make my decision easier for me as well. And of course, Kev has got plenty of history with the club. He, he helped us win promotion as well, didn't he? And uh, no doubt he might have told you about the day he was all bandaged up uh, in a winning team. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen plenty of pictures of him with the bandage around his head. Uh, but like I say, he said to me, look, it's the best club you'll ever sign for in terms of fans. So professionalism wise, it's, it's absolutely massive. So it made it a lot easier for me to sign here. After Scarborough, you had a year at Buxton. 2021 season uh, how did it go on there how did you feel about playing on 3G uh, I was used to it from playing at Scarborough on the 3G um, it was a bit of a, a weird season last year because no one knew when we were going to start if we were going to finish or and like I say it was always stop start all the time so I couldn't really get into it and couldn't really enjoy it if I'm honest with you yeah. and so you left books at the end of the season no doubt there were a few clubs after you so what attracted you to come to Darlington I think just from playing against Darlington in the past, the size of the club, the size of the fan base, it's it's an exciting new prospect for me to obviously come here and prove myself in this league and play, be a part of a team that's going to put promotion to the National League as well. Yeah, And of course you, you haven't played at all in this league before, you, you've sat on the bench, but obviously you'll, you'll have done some research into the, into the standard of this league and the, and the clubs that we'll be up against. Definitely, yeah. I think, it's, like I said, there's some massive teams in this league, a lot of ex-football league teams. I've always had ambitions to play a lot higher and felt that I was good enough to do it and I'm sure I can come here and prove myself that I can. And your ambition is to win promotion with us? Yeah, that's 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 the main aim at the end of the day. I, I, like I say, I wouldn't sign here if I didn't think the club were going to be at least pushing for the playoffs. Um, but there's no reason why we can't push for automatic promotion.